One of the easiest way for you to be cool in 2022 is to become a Chenggu expert. So in this video, of course, we'll continue our series. We will differentiate anything. And here we go. First example, let's differentiate. Well, we have three main trick functions and we're going to just use them all. So we have sine of secant of tangent of x, like so. Notice that I didn't invite any of the co-functions. Hmm, sorry, but anyway. And in fact, you see that we have these three functions. We can kind of just arrange them. How many ways? We can arrange them in a total of six different ways. I'm going to do three for you guys and just figure out the other three, all right? So here we go. This is the first one. Okay. Differentiating sine of whatever, you just make this cosine and you keep the whatever, which is secant of, and then we have the tangent of x, like so. All right. Continue. We are going to differentiate this. The derivative of secant is secant whatever times tangent whatever. So we are going to get secant and the whatever inside is the tangent x. So just maintain that. And then we multiply by tangent of the input again, like that whatever, which is tangent x. All right. So again, the derivative of secant is secant times tangent. And we maintain the whatever inside like that. Lastly, we have to change one more time. Multiply by the derivative of tangent x, which is secant square x, and we are done. Not so bad, all right? Here is the first one, and then we have two more to go. The next one, I think I'm just going to kind of push this in, push this in, and bring this out. So we are going to differentiate. Let's have the tangent on the outside, and then sine, and then secant, and then here's the x. Parentheses, parentheses, parentheses. All right. Here we go. Differentiating tangent, we get secant square, and then the whatever stays inside. Okay. Next, we are going to just continue Chengdu one time right here. The derivative of sine is cosine, and then the whatever is the secant x. And lastly, the derivative of secant x is secant x times tangent x. So this will be the answer for that. Cool. And the third one for this video, again, let's just do it in the same fashion. I'm going to kind of just bring this out and push this in, push this in, right? So we will have the secant x, well, secant function on the outside, and then the input is tangent of sine of x, like so. Parentheses, parentheses, parentheses. So here we go. As we can see, we have secant of this. So again, it is secant whatever times tangent whatever. So we will have secant, and just write down whatever right here, which is tangent of sine x, parentheses, parentheses, and then we multiply by tangent of tangent <laughs> of sine x. Cool. I told you, doing derivatives is really cool because you can almost always differentiate. I know, do not mention about that function, okay? No, unfortunately, that, that's no, no. By the way, Next, tangent of sine x. The derivative of tangent is secant. So here we have secant square. I uh, just said secant square. And then we have the input, which is sine x. And then lastly, ladies and gentlemen, the derivative of sine x is cosine x. All right? So this is how you can practice your Chengdu method. All right? So if you can become a Chengdu expert, then, yeah, calculus one will be a lot more fun. Anyway, I did three for you guys already. Try to figure the other three out, right? The other three permutation, right? That's a formal way to say how we can arrange these three functions. I have these three, so work out the other three and let me know what the answers are. Um, yeah, write me a letter and then uh, so I can see what your answer is. What's next? What should we differentiate next? Let me know. Anyway, that's it.